Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Jesse, also known as Sublime, and in today's video, we are back with another spin and go. As you guys can see, you can see the Poker Stars logos and the two shows up. So I throw out the double birds to show my frustration at the wheel, and uh, we'll get right into things. Now to start the table off, we get Pocket Tens. Yes, you heard me right. To start it off, we have Pocket Tens on the button. Okay, this guy... This new one, 2007 guy, bets into me, and I have pocket tens. So I re-raise it up to uh, 170. See more a-holes. He ends up folding it away. But this new one guy, he's having too much fun. They're, these two guys are playing with drone, shooting it at each other, as you can see right there. Um, and they're almost having a battle, and I'm trying to just point at him to let him know that, hey, you know, you got a turn to go. Uh, he ends up calling me, and the flop comes out 974. Uh, you got two uh, two hearts on there. I'm not too worried about the hearts, though. Uh, he raises to uh, 70. I re-raise to 170 again. Um, he looks down. He's trying to go all in. He puts the all in chip. I call it immediately. I got pocket tens. No, nothing's over pairing my board. And he shows he has a jack queen. Uh, the 10 ends up showing up, so we got a three of a kind. And then the jack shows up as well, so we end up taking that pot home. We do a little fist bump, and we're on to the next hand. First hand, immediately, we've already knocked somebody out, and now we're heads up. And when I say the Seymour A-Holes guy is a tight player, I'm telling you, we both played really tight. It was a lot of fun playing this uh, playing this uh, table with him. Uh, very similar play styles, I would say. A lot of tightness all around. And, um, and yeah, I had a lot of fun at this table. This hand here, we get King-3 suited with clubs in a small blind position. or 2-1 chip stack on Seymour A-holes. Um, so we're sitting in a good position here. The flop comes out 6-7-3. We match up our threes, but uh, Seymour A-holes bets 35 to us. Now, even with our chip stack, I don't want any part of that pot. I don't want to give him more than what I have to. And uh, I think this is a big thing that... Um, it's a good teaching lesson, I think, this video is... You know, there's a lot of times where you have a bigger stack than your opponent. But um, for the long run of a tournament, you don't want to give your opponent more chips than what you have to. So sometimes if you see two over pairs and the odds of a king showing up, especially when there's no clubs on the board, um, you, you might as well just fold it. The odds of you winning that hand are fairly low um, with a three pair. Uh, so, you know, uh, t take this as a teaching tool, this, uh, this uh, video here. Now this flop comes out queen 10 jack. I have a 7-9. I call it because if an 8 shows up, we have a straight or a king. Um, but unbeknownst to me, uh, he, he makes a bet for 95 and rightfully show. He shows me his cards and he had 9-8. He flopped the straight and he had us beat right to the money. Next set of cards we got here is a 2-3 here on a big blind. Um, you know, he just calls it so I check it. I don't want to give him more uh, money than I have to. Uh, he ends up throwing a bet here for about 50, so I throw my cards, but it ends up going behind me, but nonetheless it registered as a fold, and uh, we're on to the next hand here. We get a 610 of diamonds here on the small blind. Um, his chip stack's slowly building up, obviously I haven't been hitting any cards, um, but that's going to change, okay? I'm telling you guys right now, that is going to change. Uh, we both end up checking it out, he ends up winning it with a jack high. Um, yeah, just a really lazy hand. We get an ace jack here, though, on the big blind. Uh, he ends up calling. I want to make uh, the pot a little bit more equitable to me. I throw it a bet for 50, and he just ends up folding. So that's kind of the gist of the table is that a lot of the times when I have something good, I'll bet he'll fold. When he has something good, he'll bet I fold. And that's kind of the gist of the table. And it was, like I said, a lot of fun playing with uh, the similar play style. Um, and... Yeah, it's, you know, if you want to see how good your poker skills on, play on some, play against somebody who plays like you, and you can see how good your poker skills are. Um, a 4, 9, 10 comes out on the flop, he ends up raising it to 60, and I just gotta fold it. I have no equity in that pot. Um, the only thing that I would really win with was a jack, but then there'd be straight potential, so, uh, I just end up folding those cards away. We get a 5, 4 here on a small blind of hearts. The flop comes out, ace, 7, 3. Um... You know, I'm trying to test the waters here, so I throw out a bet for 40. 
immediately folds. I get a notion in my mind that when he doesn't have a pair, when he doesn't have um, much on the table, he doesn't really make a call. Uh, we get a 7-6 here on a big blind. Um, just, uh, they're not suited to nothing, just normal 7-6. Flop comes out 10-6 ace. I have a pair of sixes though, so I call it. Um, and then this is when he throws out a bet for 65, the second bet for 65 on this table. And I look at my cards for a second and I said, you know what, there's <laughs> three over pairs and they're very strong over pairs, so I'm just going to fold it. It's, it's in his range to have those cards in his hand, and I don't think a six will cut it, so there's no reason to give him more chips than what I have to. We got a king nine here on the small blind. I raise it up to uh, 60. He has 40 to call. He ends up calling it. The flop comes out six ace ace. Uh, he checks to me, and like I said, from knowledge of playing with him so far i re-raised it to a hundred uh, or i raised it to a hundred and he folds immediately so i end up taking that pot home since he checked and there was two aces on the board i didn't think that he had an ace or else he would have bet into me and i was most likely right because i don't think he would have folded an ace so um just kind of uh Kind of paying attention to your opponent is a very strong suit in poker, and I think it's something that a lot of you guys should be doing on the poker tables. Um, we get an ace-king here, though, on a small blind. I re-raise it up to 90. He has to call for 60, and it just ends up showing it. I really actually wanted to play those ace -king, or that ace-king, so I was hoping that he called, but he didn't, and we ended up winning the pot anyways. Then we get, after the ace-king, we get an ace-three on the big blind, but he folds his cards away, so we don't even get a chance to see a flop. We then get a 9-8 here on a small blind. I'm hoping to uh, to capture the luck of Seymour A-holes from, uh, from the hand he flopped a straight, but didn't happen. 7-king deuce comes out, and he bets into us, so we got to fold that away. Again, chip stacks are fairly, you know, even at this point. I have 755. He has 655. We only have an 100 um, lead on him. We got a king two here, spades on the big blind. The flop comes out four six jack. He ends up throwing about bet for sixty five. I don't want to see um, a turn in a river and not get a king, so I just end up folding those two cards away. Next time we got those an ace three here, um, suited on the small blind. I re raised it to one thirty. See more a holes has to call for a hundred, but he doesn't, and he just folds his cards away. The next set of cards, though, we get an ace queen, so potentially even better. The only thing that would have made it better is that if it was suited. But we didn't even get to play those either. He just folded them immediately. <laughs> we then get a 6 8 here on the small blind, and I think 6 8 is the death of me, okay? Every time I get 6 8, nothing ever happens. I've seen so many people win with 6 8, I've seen so many people flop straights with 6 8, but for me, it never ever happened, so. I'm making a vow right now that I'm never going to play 6-8 ever again. As soon as I see 6-8 in my hand, that's an immediate fold. If I'm on the big blind, I'm just going to check. That's a note to myself, okay? We get a jack-5 here on the small blind. He's now chip leader. He has 730. I have 650. Uh, the flop comes out 392. Um, and then the queen shows up, so we got a flush with the spades. Not a high flush. Um... But I wanted to test the waters here. I throw out a bet for 100 chips. And he just ends up folding it. So we end up taking that pot home. And I think that puts us back in the lead for chip leader position. No, we're actually tied. Uh, we get a 9-2 here on the big blind. Not suited. Not can, Nothing like that. The flop comes out 4-10 jack. All hearts. Um, this was probably one of the easier folds uh, during this game. First of all, I don't think I'll hit a 9 or a 2. And the flush potential's there. The straight potential's there. There's so many options for the uh, for Seymour A holes to win that hand. We get an ace two here though on the small blind. The flop comes out ace ten five. Then a six pops up on the turn. He keeps checking. I check it too. The jack comes to a jack of clubs on the river, and we just end up taking that pot home with a uh, ace high. Next set of cards we got though is three seven here on the big blind. Um, yet again we're tied, but he ends up folding his cards away. Uh, so that makes us chip leader now. We then get a 5-10 here on the small blind. We fold them, we return the favor, and we just give him the chips back that he sent us last hand. 
We're tied again. We get 8-6, big blind. Now this is what I said about the 8-6 curse. He re-raises it to 120. I have to call for 80, so I do. Flop comes out, 10, queen, 5. Nothing really good for us here. He ends up throwing out a bet for uh, 80, and I just end up folding that away. Next set of cards, we got those a 9-10 here on the small blind. Both suited of spades. The flop comes out jack, ace, five. He checks. I take that check as a sign of weakness. And immediately, I throw out a bet for 100. And lo and behold, my prediction was right. He was weak, and he throws his cards away, and we end up winning that pot. Yet again, we're fairly... We're, well, we're fairly even. He has about a you know 170 uh, chip stack lead on us. Flop comes out three jack jack. I check he checks. I check again. He checks again. The eight shows up. Now I just wanted to see um, if he were to call me what he would call me with, or you know I wanted to show him that I could slow play a three of a kind like that. He ends up calling me, which I was surprised with. And uh, we end up taking a pot home. So it kind of showed him. And for the rest of the game, he's going to have in the back of his mind that I was slow playing cards and that it could happen again. So I, I was keeping him on his toes. And that's kind of how I wanted things from the get-go. I just didn't really have an opportunity to do so. Uh, but anyways, we have a 9-6 here on the big blind. Flop comes out 10-7 king. Um, rainbow. Rainbow flop. We got nothing here. Really, the only thing that would make us win is a 8, but likelihood of that coming is probably fairly low, and uh, we just end up throwing our cards away. We didn't get a 6-5 here on the small blind. Um, we call for 50. He checks. Flop comes out. Jack, queen, king. All of clubs. Then the 7 of hearts shows up. He checks. I throw out a bet for... 100 now in my mind red flags would be going because if somebody was on a royal flush draw they have a potential chance at that royal flush uh at that royal flush jackpot so they wouldn't be betting into that um the only thing that would have beat it was a flush now like i said i played that card earlier where i could be hiding something um but we got a queen seven here on a small blind we're chip leader again he tried to go all in but he couldn't we hit a pair of sevens and he ends up going all in this time. I'm hesitating. I'm like, oh, do I want to? Do I want to? I'm like, fuck it. Let's do it. He shows that he has an A6. So we're beating him there with the sevens. Luckily for us, the, the uh, queen comes out. And then another queen comes out. We end up winning the last hand with a full house. And uh, we, we secure the victory. So just a couple things, guys. I want to say thank you guys so much for the support. Recently, I had a little flood in my basement. Um... We're fixing that up right now. I got a temporary setup to make these videos, so hopefully nothing will change with you guys. Um, but you guys are truly the, some of the best fans on YouTube. I just want to say thank you, thank you. This is me getting a thumbnail here. Uh, you guys are awesome. Make sure you join the Discord. Make sure you subscribe. Have a good one, everybody. Bye-bye now.